Welcome to the Ramon Foster Show, brought to you by the Get Go Cafe and Market, where they serve tots and pears, Mon. They really do. Tots? I don't know about the pears. They definitely have tots. The city's best tots are at the Get Go Cafe and Market. The stuff that happens here off camera and shall stay off camera. It's usually the uh, best stuff that yes. happens off camera. Maybe we'll show them something here. Don't but not worry. That, though. <laughs> Don't worry, Eddie, our producer, collects all this stuff. And someday, it's all just one day, Eddie's going to wake up in a bad mood and it's all going to hit this hit, hit the YouTube mm, channel. Now I'm worried. <laughs> <laughs> now well, I'll, I'm tell worried. You, I'll tell you what, Moan, we've had some fun talking this week about the, the repercussions of the NFL draft. Yeah. We've got into some of the individual players. I got to tell you, the part that I find potentially the most uplifting, just speaking for myself here, is that I, I'm i starting to feel like this defense could be, could mm-hmm. be, maybe back to where they were in 2020. I don't know. Maybe. Man, if that's the case, then we're, we're on to something. I, uh, and you know what? I, I think one of the, the biggest components of it getting back to I think if, if it gets back to 2020 and you had a 2021 to rail Edmonds then I think you're in a very good spot oh I'll, that's interesting I, I was overly excited about his resigning and truth be told I, I actually thought that was going to be the best bet for him I, I, I said to myself if he's not gone the first week and he starts to sit and reality starts to catch up to him and you know all of those things that the business allows to happen because uh, players don't love that. I, I personally hadn't been in that spot, but I know some of my friends that have gone into week two. Hell, Terrell was in, I mean, that's week three of free agency with no home. So what does that tell you? Go back to the place that you know. And um, we saw a bunch of, uh, I ain't going to say a bunch of uh, draft safeties go through, but clearly the market is there. Seeing the amount of first round safeties that went in this year's draft, I was, I was kind of blown back a little bit. But as much credit as we give Minka, he deserves it. He's the all pro. Terrell has done his part as far as being a good pro. Now, again, I know you want everybody to be all pro who selected as a first round draft pick, but that's not going to be the case. Sometimes it pays to just be very good. And I think that's where he is right now. I think that's where he was last year. Terrell's a big linebacker type safety. And if you get him growing more and honestly, you get him a little bit more hungry this year. He's on a one year deal. He's got to go show and prove. So if you get him and we hadn't even spoke about every other component of this team when it comes down to linebackers, corners and uh, the, the the front line. Yeah, that, it's that whole Terrell thing, by the way, we could make into an entire segment someday because. Yeah, I, I have a feeling that he got Kevin Colbert in here, <laughs> mean, meaning Kevin had surveyed the entire landscape for safeties including the draft, including, you know, when teams know, as the Ravens ended up getting Kyle Hamilton, uh, that there are players they can get in the draft. Yeah. And you see the general devaluation of yeah, the man. safety position for whatever reason. Maybe it's because of nickels and dimes and all the other corners that you yeah. have pressing the line of scrimmage and blitzing. Yeah. But they – this is going to sound mean, Say but it. I think they, they, well, they played Terrell. Okay. Yeah, they did. And and they said, listen, you come back to us. This is, and, and Kevin actually did say this out loud over the weekend. Uh, you go out and look, we encourage our players to go out and look. Yeah, I know you've heard that line a million times. Okay. We encourage our players to go out and look. And so Terrell went out and looked yeah. and he was like out in the Sahara. Okay. Like and then, and then Kevin says, well, listen, I've got this amount of money here if you want to come back. Yeah. And, and he's just a product of playing a position that's gotten devalued. Safety and running backs have been the two most highest devalued positions in all of football. Those two in the self, and they used to be so important. Yeah. Think about the Ed Reeds. Think about all the guys, the Troys that's come through. You either better be all world or you're going to be a year-to-year type of guy. And the thing about them, when they're on your team, you love the safeties. But oh, I'll yeah. say this. 
Ter- Terrell has grown a lot from what I've seen over this past 2021 season. I remember early on, Coach T used to challenge him, hey, you got to get more physical. And I think we saw that last year. I think he's realizing that if he wants to be that type of guy, he better be a what they call a tweener as far as a position. Not as far as his pay goes, but he needs to be able to play some type of linebacker slash being able to cover in, in, in uh, the secondary also. That's going to be the sweet spot. But he has. He, and, and, and that's and what that, I'm saying. That's what happened last season. And I know there's people that are still to this day detractors of him because they think that every first round pick should head to Canton. But he was a late first rounder and he became a starting NFL player. People mm-hmm. refer to him as a bust. Are you kidding no, me? No, absolutely a not. Bust. You know, so, this is this is a this is a pretty good football player, and more importantly, from the Steelers' perspective, mm-hmm. a pretty good partner for one of their most important players. Yes, sir. Yes, yes, he is. And and again, we're talking about the front end and the back end of this defense. I think his position is going to be key as far as what the NFL has turned into. If the front line can't get to the quarterback, it's going to be him to be the safety to end up breaking up passes or being Johnny on the spot, which he was a little bit more this past year as far he as the was. interceptions he, go. He was. He was on the football. Uh, even when he didn't get the picks, he was, he was on the football. He was on coverage. But look, getting past the safety position. Yeah. When you look at this defense overall, uh, you know, we've talked a lot about the D-line. We've talked yeah. about the impact that DeMarvin Leal can have up front on the depth. Mm-hmm. We know what TJ and Alex Highsmith are. But let me ask you a co- about a couple of things in particular that, that okay. remain, I think, question marks. One is inside linebacker. Yeah, mm-hmm. Miles Jack is here. That's great. Yeah. Okay. But, you know, you still got to you got to think about Devin Bush. Yeah, and then there's the cornerback position without Joe Hayden. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, I like Akella Witherspoon too. So I was going to say, and I like Cam Sutton. But do, do I know that those can be the two guys that can hold down the fort? I don't know. I, and, and those are the two positions I cut. Uh, I, I, I question just, and you know, I love Cam because he's a vol like me. Okay, I just got to throw that out there. Uh, but but he's a guy that you got to say now it's on you, and it's on the killer also as far as who's going to get picked on. But the beauty about Pittsburgh is this. Everybody know they're a zone blitz team. Everybody know that it's, it's, it's secondary by committee as far as being one-on-ones and having guys as far as help over the top. And that's where Mika and that's where uh, uh, Terrell comes into play as far as trying to protect one another. And again, it's this. It's also the luxury of being able to have guys that can get to the quarterback. So I'm, I'm with you on Cam and Aquilo. That's like that's where I'm, I'm at with as far as saying those guys are going to be the most – they're going to have the most angst as far as the season goes. Am I worried about them? No, because Russian coverage, as you heard Coach Tomlin say time and time again, work together, man. Exactly, exactly. When we come back, Ramon really loves George Pickens, and we're going to discuss why. This segment of the Ramon Foster Show is brought to you by the University of Georgia. It's not really. <laughs> but it might as well be because we're going to talk about George Pickens here. Yeah. And Moan loves him some George Pickens. Why is that? He's a dog. Just point blank. I've seen Nate Washington. I've seen Vince. I've seen other other players from other teams post and talk about George Pickens. I've seen the national writers say this pick right here is the guy. And I knew this in college. I'm even more excited that he's a Pittsburgh Steeler because he embodies on offense. And let's be real about it. I think when we look at this team, we say, hmm, damn good on defense. They got a lot of attitude. But then we look at the offensive side and we say, well, what are they? What are they? What are they? What are they? And I, I don't think know. What's their identity? What, what are they built on? You know what I would say? Fun hmm. so far. Fun. Questionable. Fun and questionable. And there is no attitude. And this team always has an attitude about itself on both sides of the ball. Hell, on, on special teams, for that matter, you've seen how many guys get knocked out on special teams. That's the ugly part we don't want to speak about. But... <laughs> That's the part of this team that's missed. That's the part of the offense that's missing. And I feel like with him, he's a guy that's going to walk in and, and and I don't think he's going to disrupt anything. But I think when you see his attitude and how he plays the game, you're going to say, that's the guy that I'm willing to go out and buy a jersey for. That's the guy. If one of these other two guys don't work out, you're in trouble because I know he wants this like you get. And I'm not saying the other ones don't. 
And if something might change down the line. But with him, you're seeing a guy that was born to play the wide receiver position. And not just that, he's going to play with a friggin' attitude. And that's why I'm like, when, oh, it's, it's like when Pounce came in. You knew Ish was about to change. I'm really trying to like, I'm getting super hype about this one because I love what his persona is bringing to the team. And I think that aspect of growing with a young quarterback, him being a dog about getting the ball, him willing to fight, although he'll get fined and Coach T have to bring that in and he can't be punching people in the helmet. But DK, all of that says he's my guy. Well, let's look at this. Purely from a pedigree standpoint. I got tired standpoint. talking about that guy. I know. I know. Yeah. <laughs> Purely from a pedigree standpoint, you're yeah. talking about a player that I think most evaluators would agree that if it weren't for the ACL, and I understand that's not something that you just set off to the side. No, okay. Okay. Well, we just saw that with Devin Bush. We saw it with Zach Banner. Okay. Knee injuries are real and they can linger. Now, they don't linger forever. Mm-hmm. But they can linger. They can. And what the Steelers needed to see from Pickens was what they saw at his pro day. They speak of his pro day as if it were the ascension. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And 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 I get that, and I and I appreciate that. So let's presume, and I have seen some experts say, people who are total draft experts. That Pickens was healthy and Pickens was re- available to Georgia for the full season. Now, he had the 52 yard catch in the national championship game, came back to his credit. Steelers praised him like crazy for that part. Yeah. He could have just shut it down. He could have shut it down and said, I just got to get ready for the draft workouts. He wanted to be back there for his team. Yep. He, he wanted he wanted a national championship ring for himself. He yep. went out there, he went out there and helped win it. Okay. So he does that, comes back, he impresses them. People say that he could be a top 10. He could have been, sorry, a top 10 guy. Yes. Not top 10 wide receiver. Right. Top 10 pick in the draft. As such, Moan, and here's the touchy subject, mm-hmm. he has better pedigree than Deontay Johnson or Chase Claypool and theoretically should be able, not necessarily right away, he's a rookie, right. but to come in and be a better football player than either of those two. And you know what? Starting off. As a young guy, he's got to adjust to the game. He's going to have to find his way to figure out the way uh, NFL defenses play. But just as far as pedigree goes, yes, I would have to agree with you on that. You watch his game tape, and if you hadn't, go see it, man. He catches the ball with his friggin' hands. And not just that, when they're swiping at the ball, he knows when to pull it in. He knows how to finish. He knows how to block. He does everything right when it comes down to that position. So I'm all for him being the guy moving for it. Can he be wide receiver one? I say yes. Can you guys tell I'm in, in the middle of Manhattan? <laughs> yeah. All tires and stuff <laughs> screaming in the background. I'm waiting, to see if, <laughs> I'm waiting to see if there's breaking news behind you, DK, with for the way that one came up. No, I'm in, I'm in uh, Manhattan for the Stanley Cup playoffs. <laughs> And there's no place you can go in Manhattan where you escape <laughs> fire and police and everything out here on 30th Street. Chaos. Huh? <laughs> it's a chaos. Yeah, yeah. It, it is. It's a different kind of chaos. Manhattan feels a little bit different these days. There's a lot less people. And, uh, you know, it's they're, they're coming back maybe more slowly than, than yeah. other cities might, which you can understand given it, the way it uh, exploded here at the outset. But. Moan, I'm with you on Pickens. I, I think that they might have they might have come away with something really special here. And, and, and the other part of it is this too. Coach T's gonna be very snarky about it with the older guys. What do you he's, mean? He's gonna walk him in like he's a friggin' pit bull. We'll call him a bulldog on the chain and say, look what I got. Y'all wanna play around, you wanna drop, you wanna TikTok, you wanna do all those things. Look what I got over here. And that's the beauty of that that competition we always speak about with Pittsburgh. Before we go to our final break, our producer Eddie reminds us, and we're gonna we're gonna hit this here before we uh, get get blasted for it in the comments. But that we didn't <laughs> mention Levi Wallace among the corners, and and, and Levi is absolutely going to be a part of that mix. Uh, whether that's inside outside remains to be determined. But yeah, he's another guy along with Witherspoon and and uh, Sutton who's going to be out there as well. Uh, when we come back, hey, Moan. Welcome back. It's time for the Hey Moan segment. And today's comes from Demond Brown. 
who says, hey, Moan, my best friend is Candrell Bell. He always used to bring me to the Steelers facility. I used to hang out at Potsy's house. That's James Ferrier, for anybody who doesn't know Ferrier's nickname. Playing poker with Jerome Bettis, Joey Porter, Heinz Ward, and others. And all that time, I used to be in Pittsburgh. I've never been to Latrobe. This is going to be my first year going up there, and I'm excited. What should I expect? Oh, man, the Haven. Mm-hmm. <laughs> That's but what from you a should, fan standpoint, what should a, he expect? From a, from, from a fan standpoint, a lot of people that are very like minded like you, and that's the beauty of it too. You get the pure fandom when you go there, and not in a bad way. It's an optimist way. It's a uh, you see a bunch of realists about it. What 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 Latrobe is, and you see people that really want to see this team start from beginning to end, and that's what you get in Latrobe, man. You get an opportunity to see the game at its rawest form, like. To be invited to practice, to get in on practice is something that's not I don't I realize a bunch of franchises don't do. No. They simply don't. And, and and from a fan's perspective and even from a player perspective, you'll see the history. I'll say you probably feel it a little bit. Um, there's a lot of footprints that are there that you get an opportunity just to feel. And I really do think it's a feel thing when I say this, because even when we practice and, and, and we see the fan base and you understand these aren't just regular people here. They, these are people that fully get it. Uh, you'll see players that you, you'll, you'll think to yourself later during the season, how did he make the team? Because, uh, you know, he had a bad camp or so. You know what I'm saying? You see the business side of it. You see Mr. Rooney walk around and uh, whoever the new GM is going to be. Uh, you see coaches uh, get on the players. Like, it, it, it's a lot to take in. And uh, along with the kids and just everybody else that's around, it, it legitimately is a lot to take in. But it's fun. I, I'll, be, I'll be honest with you. I don't necessarily miss the sport as much. You know, but I miss Latrobe, not practicing, <laughs> but I miss Latrobe. Um, I miss, of course, game day, probably a- a- until the first hit happens. But Latrobe in itself is where all my friendships with my teammates were solidified, is where I found out who was a real football player and who was honestly just waiting to be cut. You know, like you you see whenever the team is selected, all of the 53 guys that are, you know who they were. And even so much so, down to the doggone practice squad. You'd recognize that too. So you get a real feel of how we do it. And it's more physical than anybody. I think it's more traditional than anybody. There is no fluff to it. I, I feel like the stuff I've seen from other camps has been, oh, let me see how much I can sell this team. No, you're not getting any of that. No, it's going to be selling. No. there's nothing to sell other than yeah. if you want to get some merch at the beginning of the, of the street. Yeah, the way the way I've always thought about the experience at St. Vincent College is that there's something for everybody, and and, and that that's coming off of what you yeah. said earlier on. Uh, if you if you're really just a total football nerd geek then you find yourself a spot in those bleachers at Chuck Knoll Field yeah. and you lock in. Uh, you, you might want to go a couple rows up because you want to see everything, but yeah. you also want to be close enough to hear everything. And you can yeah. hear everything. It's the single most fascinating part of that whole scenario yes. is that you're out there and you hear the instructions from the coaches. You hear the players' interactions. Uh, there's cheering whenever there's mm-hmm. a, a, a good play. Oh, is it like, only like for the formal, receivers? Formal cheering when the receivers make a good play. <laughs> That's right. Downfield. Uh, yeah. Nobody gets credit for the quick slants in, in, in Latrobe. Uh, uh, but uh, behind Chuck Knoll Field and up on the, on the hill, uh, there are games and activities for for yeah. children inside these these white tents. Uh, they do have merchandise. They don't. They don't make it obnoxious or whatever. Mm-hmm. Hey, so we're selling stuff. No, it's just it's, it's, it's there because it's expected to be there. Train, sp- training camp specific merchandise. But then there's another component to it. And I'm going to be honest with you. This is why I took my family up a couple of years ago. It's beautiful. It is. Okay. The rolling hills oh. uh, of, of St. Vincent College in Latrobe with the, the little Latrobe airport mm-hmm. off in the distance and the watching those little, little jets come down. Uh, it is a gorgeous setting for life. The, the campus itself, never mind for football, to just be nestled in the middle of it. Uh, 
Can't say enough about it. And El- no by doubt. the way, one other thing, and you can speak to this, Moan, obviously. Uh, if, if you want to meet your favorite player, uh, you know, in non-COVID times and whatever else here, this is the place to do it. Yeah, it is. It is 100%. That's where you're going to be able to get everybody to a certain mm-hmm. de- a certain degree. Vets have a way to get to the golf carts, but most all, no, all of the rookies and probably first contract guys are going to be walking their hill back up to the facility, man. And the other part is, too, and I'll be remiss if I didn't mention this because I'm on the board of directors at uh, St. Vincent College, uh, the, the monks, the brothers. Father Paul, by far, is the greatest guy ever honestly but i have a a a fun cool relationship with him you'll get an opportunity to talk to them interact with them the very cool man um and just what what saint vincent college is also in general you'll get a chance to see some other football players toward the latter part of camp uh super super cool environment if you've never seen a monk by by the way saint vincent college has the second largest monastery i think in the world too so uh real cool it's 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 pureness of it, is it not, DK? It's, it's you know, the, the idea that the Steelers might not go back or whatever oh. comes up from time to time. No. The, uh, as long as there's a Rooney running this team, there's going to be Steelers at St. Vincent. Because uh, to your point, that's where the team is built at. Exactly. Wow, this was fun, Moan. I truly enjoyed this, another, especially talking about camp. An- another good show. I want to make sure that the building's on fire with all these sirens and stuff. <laughs> We're good <laughs> now. <laughs> hey, if it was your building, you, it's too late now, DK. Wow, I could just I could run over to the nearest ice rink, and it, you know <laughs> the fire would just melt the melt the ice. And that'd be fine. No, no. Anyway, let's do this again tomorrow. Let's do it.